All right, what's going on, y'all? I'm back at it with another one. And um, yeah, check this out. I'm, I'm going to show you this video because I think this is absolutely just scandalous. And, uh, you know, I'm going to just kind of give you my thoughts about this whole situation because, uh, you know, I didn't think this was real. I thought maybe it was a skit. I don't know if it is or not. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you this video real quick and then uh, just come back, you know, with my thoughts about, you know, everything. Um, yeah, this is wild. So, yeah, check it out. Kill. Talk to me right now. And I've you been helping lie. Dante while he locked up for me. Dante? Yes. Your ex? Your ex? And my friend of 15 years. Wait, well, ho, ho. First of all, why is you sending your ex $300 of my money every week, Yolanda? He don't have nobody to help him right That's now. a grown man. What the hell you mean? Okay, and I'm his friend. If he need my help, I'm going to be there for what him. What do you need help with $300 a week for, Yolanda? To survive. Survive what? In prison. What the? Wait, what? Yeah, Dante, Dante like is locked up. Yes, just temporarily. And you sitting here, you sitting a felon. Don't do three hundred dollars a week of my it. money. You not perfect, bro. Ain't nobody perfect, and you so ain't good. Matter of fact, you ain't nothing at all to me no more. Why is you sending three hundred dollars? Recording this right now. Why are you making a big deal out of this? What's the You're scandalous, woman. You're scandalous. That's right, and I'm putting you on live. Everybody finna see this. Well, all right, since you want to make a show, whatever, bro. This is dumb. No, nah, I'm finna make a real you show. You have the money, Chris. What money? The it's money I matter. have is for us. For us. I thought you loved me. That's why I proposed to you. That's why you got that ring on your finger. In fact, I don't even see it on your finger. What you do with that? Huh? You tripping. Huh? You sending them money without the ring on your finger so you can feel single or feel like you ain't doing nothing wrong, Yolanda? Talk to me because I talk back. No, because I'm not finna do this with you. It's no, you fun. finna do this. To, you, you finna do this. You wrong spend. for what you've been doing. You never here with me. I'm always say, here oh, to you make this house. Time. Yolanda, I got this house. It's your job to make it a home. The only thing I ask for you is loyalty and respect. You can't even honor that. You don't make a meal. You I don't clean around. Do All you do is try to get yourself new clothes. Care. You knew that I didn't cook. You knew I didn't do none of that homemakers. You're you doing music. TikTok so all the time. Damn dance, dance is what, why what you came on me. Right now, though. So what's the problem with me helping a friend? The problem is you could have came to me, first of all, for taking $300 a week out of my account to send to someone who's locked up. No one that's going to be out of jail to come here, love you, hold you, touch you. First that's all, my job, woman. What he finna do, honestly. What you mean? What is... Yolanda, you and said this really man is locked care. up. You might as well cut the camera off. No, nah, the camera's anywhere. staying on. I'm not going Listen, to America, this is what it looks like with a young black male blah, trying to do blah, right. Blah, blah. statistics, and now what am I happening Whatever. with my life? It's all going bad right he now. Do you see what this is? Save him. Under that crazy stuff I was trying to be right. righteous. That's what I was trying to be. I was trying to be a man of God. But I see you are down my house. Yeah. Get your about my house. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. With the three hundred. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Um. So yeah, there you have it. I mean, his girl or his uh, fiance, hopefully now ex fiance, uh, was sending three hundred dollars a week to her ex boyfriend who's in prison. Uh, three hundred dollars a week. That's what. Uh, twelve hundred dollars a month and uh look man you, you gotta start doing background checks on these folks that you're dealing with um but why the hell does she have access to your account you know and she's up there talking about you know their friends and he needs help well let some of his family help him out or some of his other friends help him out you know what i mean you know the dude's locked up you know uh but in my opinion she was just looking for a, a placeholder um just somebody to hold her over until the other dude got out of jail and then to think about it how long has this been going on you know what i mean and i asked that question because a lot of these um uh financial institutions they have uh notifications you get notifications about you know activity on your account uh 
so either i don't know maybe he saw it and, and ignored it or maybe he's just not keeping track of his finances uh but i get it we all make mistakes when it comes to relationships and everything uh when we think that we found somebody that we may be in love with and, and want to pursue a long-term relationship with but uh when it comes to your money and she's got access to it giving it to this other dude that's in prison man you got to nip that in the bud immediately and get her about your life and that's why i'm like how does she even get access to your account and that's something that you got to be careful with too um when dating or whatever is that you can't you can't just leave a lot of your financial information or items like your bank card or credit card whatever you know just can't leave that stuff laying around um but yeah i mean this is just wild this is crazy you know you're and, and you got to remember that yeah she was your fiance y'all were i guess planning or you were he was planning to get married to her um but there, there are different levels of access and, and just different levels of trust uh, that have to be built and, and gained when it comes to just uh, dating versus being married. And now if she got into your account illegally, then now we're talking about getting the law involved to where you may have to pursue some type of charges. Uh, that way she gonna be locked up like Dante, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, don't be nice about it either because people will take advantage of that. And um, like I said, you got to start doing background checks on people, right? Not saying that you got to go full on private eye, but uh, you definitely want to keep an eye out on the small stuff. You know, pay attention to detail because people are pretty good at, you know, showing you who they truly are. Um, and, and I think the biggest red flag, I think, before all this went down would have been that, you know, she was and is still dealing with her ex. Why is she still communicating with him? Um, there's there's no way any good relationship is going to work out or come out of, you know, of this whole situation or even before that when she's still involved with her ex who's in prison while trying to, you know, date or be in a relationship with somebody else. Uh, it, it's, it's just a recipe for disaster because uh, you always will have to play second fiddle. So um, I guess it's good that he found this out before he married her uh, because had that happened, um, I don't think it would have been easy to get her up out of his life, you know, that way. Um, because if you, if you think about it, had he married her and just picture that, if he would have married her, trust and believe that you know she would have tried to you know make his life a living hell even though she was the one in the wrong um she maybe would have tried to you know play maybe the victim card um you know come up with some kind of excuse as to why this guy is at fault and you know paint him out to be the bad guy for putting his foot down and uh not allowing any of that any of that stuff to kind of go down i mean we're talking about three hundred dollars a week twelve hundred dollars a month going to some guy that's in prison you know what i mean so even though he took a loss he should be thankful that um he dodged a much bigger bullet in the process of uh finding out you know that she stole money his money to send to some other dude that's in prison you know it's it's, it's trifling and it's scandalous um so now you know she's been put on blast for the world to see um that way i guess if any guy comes across her or comes into contact with her at least they'll have the, that video to kind of show them how she likes to get down so um but yeah you know that scandalous man scandalous um yeah so that that's been it you know it's just something that i had on my mind i came across that video but uh yeah let me know what y'all think man you know what would you do in that situation um and how would you have how would you have handled that situation um so until next time you know take care stay safe peace y'all